Hello, the game is Valheim. And, um, I just got back from my journey down to the second boss. I put a portal there in case I died. And I'm gonna go fight him now. Traveled all the way back home. Got rid of, uh, my stuff that I didn't need. Stocked up on some arrows. Actually, let me grab some more arrows. Just in case. Might as well have two full stacks, right? Or I have a partial stack. I doubt I'm going to use more than 200. We shall see. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, so let's go. I really need to upgrade my base, too. I got this nice bronze axe. I can chop wood. I really need to get some wood going. <laughs> what is that? Raspberry. So I think this is just over there. Yeah, this is the one. Elder boss. Second boss. So let's do this. Let's see what happens. Ah, really? I'll change that later. My feet were getting snagged on it, so you gotta jump into the portal. And if you didn't know about portals, very nice. You can put a portal anywhere in the world and connect it to another portal. So it's, it's, it's a just a way of getting around the world. The thing I don't like about portals is it requires a workbench to build, which I don't. I mean, a workbench only costs 10, um, 10 wood, so it's not a big deal. It just seems like an unnecessary step for something designed to be able to put anywhere in the world. Anyway, enough rambling about game design. It's a good game. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to crap on it. It's just a couple things that would change about it. But then again, there were some things I thought I would have changed about it, and then I realized why they had it that way. So there could be a reason for it. Anyway, so second boss, it says, burn their young. see what happens. I guess I gotta put these ancient seeds somewhere. Actually, let me get a final eat. I'm scared. Alright, seven. Oh, it took all three of them. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? There he comes. The elder has awoken. I am Brute! Burn, tree, burn. Alright, what are, I, I don't know anything about what he does, so... Oh my goodness. Vile Thorn from Terraria. Nice. That's exactly how I would think it would look if it was 3D. What? He is literally Groot. Alright, I gotta stop messing around. I gotta do damage to him. This is going to turn into a game of attrition. Him versus me. Why is he shooting that way? He's a cool looking boss though, isn't he? Oh crap. Go, go bow skills. Miss. That, I love that. That's like the vile word from Terraria. That is awesome. I want a Terraria 3D game, by the way, just saying. Somebody please make... So he just kind of stands there. He doesn't come after you. He just shoots that. That's cool. Can I block it? I wonder if I can block it with the pillars. And bounce out. Ouch. Ouch, okay. Standing near them is bad. Alright, he's getting rough now. He's gonna take me out if I don't... keep my distance from him. It seems to confuse him when I keep my distance from him. Like he's not where he's not sure where to shoot. Seems like he's shooting over there.
Uh, I need something to bring that stamina back. Just stand here. So, he seems... I mean, he's not easy, but when you're standing back like this and he's not aiming directly at you, it's pretty easy. I guess he's stuck in his little square there? Weird. The, sta the, the, the elk thing uh, chased me all over the place. All right. Ooh, he just took down a tree. Did I say how much I love that thorns he's shooting out of his hand? There's a magic wand in Terraria. It's called the Vile Thorn. It's like an early game game weapon that I like to use. And it shoots out stuff like that. It penetrates walls. Just It reminds me of it. I think it looks good. I do like the... I mean, I don't like it when they hit me, but I like the fact that that's a weapon. The thorns that come out and just start hitting. I think they'd be better if they, like, smacked you once and then grabbed you and tried to hold you and you'd have to, like, hit them or something. And then he tries to hit you with his little vial thorn. Kind of like a root. So they're gonna have to do something about this cheese because now well, I do want to beat him, but I didn't think I could just sit here and be like do 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 do, and he doesn't know where to shoot. Maybe I should put a thing in where like if you get too far away from him, he lashes out a thorn that grabs you. It doesn't do damage, but pulls you back towards him. So if you get far away like this and start cheesing and he can't target you, then he'll pull you away. He could actually probably just use him to take out all these trees. <laughs> I could stand near trees. Like, be my lumberjack. Where's he going? I hope he's not running away from me because he can't detect me or something. I need some. Yeah, that's cool looking. I like that. Burn tree, burn! Yeah, they're not penetrating that. So definitely, if you weren't cheesing him with distance, you definitely would want to cheese him. We're hiding behind the pillars, popping out and shooting. Run behind the pillars, and anyway, he does this. Move to the other pillar. Do 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 do. And hide. Regen stamina. Pop out. Pop. Get your aim up, pop out, pop. Get your aim up. Definitely the easier ball so far. As long as you got a good bow and some arrows. I was really worried that he was gonna kill me. I was like, should I look up a guide? I was like, no, 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 no. Just do it. Just do it. It's funner that way. Yeah, boy. Can these things get defeated? All right. Look at me, the group killer. What did he drop? A head? A swamp key? The swamp key. Uh, smells like bow tide. Boated. Bow tide. Boated. Boated. The heck is boated? Offer it to the sacrificial stones. Oh, I get a new power! I get a new power! Ah! What was all this stuff? Oh, look, he was mining for me. Sit here, like... So that's one way, summon him and then, like, stand behind the trees and let him uh, farm all the trees for you since he's so powerful. I reap my rewards. Alright, so that's the second boss. I'm gonna... I'll keep the video going so you guys can see the... Uh, you guys can see what the power is. If 
you want that kind of spoiler. I'm sure if you're watching this, you do. You're interested. You want to see what it is. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. I was just like, oh, I'm going to do second boss. Let me record it. <gasps> he destroyed my portal. Oh, ball. Okay, so. Lesson learned. <laughs> Put your portal further back. Ay, ay, ay. Oh wow, he, he like reached all the way back here. Alright. I don't I don't think I'm gonna fight him again. I might need to let me put the portal back here. Good thing I brought a hammer with me, or I would have been stuck. I would have had to run all the way home. Uh, crafting. Alright, and then a workbench. One thing I like about this game is the you get you get your materials back when you uh, when you deconstruct something or something gets destroyed. You get your materials back. So I need, I need to name this the same name, Elder Space Boss, and it should connect. There we go. That would have sucked if I didn't bring a hammer with me. That's why it's important to always have your hammer on you. You never know when you're going to need to drop a workbench down and repair your boot or something like that. Pro tip. Thor didn't go anywhere without his hammer. There's a reason for that. Alright, let's go back. Enough of this foolishness. I'm overweight anyway. I wonder if I should build, like, little protective shacks around my portal so no little monsters just happen by and destroy my portals. Alright. Why is that Why are they all just standing there like that? that was weird. Cute little buggers. Those are definitely the plushie. That they need to sell. That they are the plushies. That's the money maker right there. It's the merchandise. All right, so there's the first boss. Oh yeah! Wish that was a little bit wider. I think the hammer has a wider range for AOE. Something yelling at me? What was that? I don't want to do this, but something's going to be attacking me. Faster wood cutting. Interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, so that allows you to... I, you know, I was going to chop a bunch of wood and get in the building. I was like, I really need to upgrade my base. I could chop a bunch of wood now. I got a nice bronze axe. And just, like, really upgrade. Like, come out here with it, right? Like, level all that out and just make it huge. Like, make, make it go all the way out around here. And then I, that's why I started putting these workbenches out. But good thing I waited. Because now I can chop wood faster, apparently. I'm kind of disappointed with that, but I guess you need it for building. It's kind of hoping for, you know, some power. The other power was cool, where you could run for five minutes with 50% stamina reduction. All right, I don't want to use that power just yet because I'm not in not wood chopping. But uh, yeah, that's the video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. You got to see the boss. I'm sure. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure of anything. I'm sure that I'll make another video soon, so I'll see you in the next video.